Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Mike, and today I'm just going to do a short video on explaining how to make flyers in Photoshop. Um, this was requested by Tony B on YouTube. Uh, he messaged me and be like, you know, how do you make flyers or some simple photo editing to make some flyers and stuff like that. So, what I did was pretty much brainstorm and did some stuff. And, um came up with a little flyer. Um, it may not be the best or the most professional, but um, it looks pretty cool to me. I like it. Um, a picture of Lady Gaga, poker face, um, some cool designs I put at the top, at, like, you know, like the corner stuff, and same for the bottom. So there's some key things you might want to take note when you're making flyers. You want to have the event and possibly you know the most featured thing that's going to be there so it's like a you know the, the five w's who what when where kind of thing um i don't know if that was four five whatever um you know what i'm saying and then you want to want to have the date the time the place contact numbers uh you know everything so um as you can see this um the fly is based on lady gaga so i'll put the name um but depending if it's like a club or some type of event you could probably put the event right there or something. So right there where the um where this so called event is gonna be at that I pretty much made up. It's gonna be at Radio City Music Hall. Um it's gonna be featuring Lady Gaga. She's gonna be doing her poker face. And uh it's gonna be on Friday, October twenty third, two thousand nine. And you might wanna include the address, so I left like a little info bar here so you guys can edit it and put the date or you know, the um location of where this event is going to be take place and also you want to make sure you have a, a contact number or contact numbers so if there's more than one contact number if one can't be reached at this time then you might want to call another number like that so I put together this basic template for you guys and also set up some guidelines so if you are printing this uh, you could print within these guidelines if you want or you know just a simple way of keeping things organized pretty much um so yeah uh so this template is free for you guys to use of course um i pretty much labeled everything the time date place um pretty much everything on here except for this back backup image but you know um so i'm gonna explain everything one by one to you guys so i start off with a black background and then I added an image. The image I added was uh, some type of art image of a, a beach or something. So as you can see right there at the bottom. Um, just move this over. Uh, well, forget I can't move it. Anyway, um, the background image right there is with like a beach or whatever. And what I did was uh, take my eraser tool and increase the diameter of it. And make the feather at zero or the hardness at zero and just went around it and just uh, you know taking taking it out and stuff around the edges so once I've done that uh, just gonna take that out Oops. all right so um, once you do that you get this type of image then I put a picture of Lady Gaga of course did the eraser tool and blurred out everything but the face and um, I made it some borders, which is uh, these images right here, these pink, pink um, banners at the top and bottom, like that. So basically, I put the whole uh, layout as like this pink color gradient, gradient, and then I took the rectangular marquee tool and drew a square, drew a square over it, and then cropped that out. And um, I got this image with my black background in the back. Now I look kind of plain with the beach background and the, the poker face um, image right there, the um, Lady Gaga. So what I did was I took my borders, I made a copy of it, and then put it behind the first border. Then I blurred it, I gave it a motion blur, so basically it's going to come down this way and come up this way, like that. So it kind of gives it a more centered effect within the image, so around in the middle. And I just put some text at the top, some text inside, you know, where, um, where it's going to be at, the event and everything. And um, so basically you want to make whatever image is in the middle stand out more. 
and put the text and stuff around it. Of course, the text got to be interesting. The text has to have some type of, uh, um, you know, something to represent the place that you're going to. So, um, everything is put together nicely for you guys. Hopefully, everything will be um, okay. If you like this template, please let me know. And I'll be putting this up on my website at mikesdesigns.name.com. The link will be in the video description. So, um, I'm not going to go too much into detail on this as of right now. But I just want to do a, a good overview of, you know, this flyer. And um, keep watching my other videos because I will be posting up another video on this side. So, it's me, Mike. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.